should have done yourself favor and died while you had chance, Kroshka. Great. Mm. Where are you going? If you can move, leave. Trouble never comes alone. Right. Roger that, Rasputin. I'll get right the fuck out. But I didn't. I couldn't. Where was I gonna go? So we came to an understanding. He would put up with me just as long as I pulled my own weight. And that was my shitty start to six long months. It's been about eight weeks now since I lost track of Claire. The old man pulled my battered ass out of the wreckage and patched me up. As for the bracelet, mine never changed color. And I never turned into one of those things. Lucky me, right? As soon as I was back on two legs, the old guy told me I had to help with hunting. Basically, it was on me to kill my own food. House rules. Can you use gun? Uh, more or less? Good. You collect on bullets. You run out, not my problem. Look, I get it. I won't be a burden. When hunt is finished, you go to sawmill entrance deep in forest. The big gate. I remember. It's very important you get there by sundown. Otherwise, monsters will have Kroshka for dinner. Yum, yum, yum. Well, thanks for scaring my appetite away. I help you, now you help me. Get this beautiful after it's repaid. Yeah, yeah, let's get this hunt on the road before you die of old age. Using guns. Stop whining. Keep working. You need washed mouth out with soap. All right, Barry.
That's a really great idea. I'm not gonna try. Then go search for the food you like. Snake, rat, hair. Maybe you find a wild animal. Monsters are coming. Pay attention. I know. Are you gonna let me shoot them or do you want to complain some more? Man, I gotta focus. How did Claire hold her gun again? The sun will not stand up forever. Why are you still here? Maybe because you didn't tell me nicely, I should keep moving.
good girl. We can continue hunt here. Oh, right. Let me just pull up my good girl petticoat so it doesn't get dirty. When you are done, head for gate. Yes, sir. We've got what we need. Can we call it a day? Okay. This should be enough. Thank God. I can't wait to lie down. Lie down? We finish early. You help me cut up meat. Wow! Educational. I thought that was it. I couldn't take another second of getting muscled around by some man who thought he knew better than me. Why don't we find a way off the island, I asked. Yet, he said. No point. You need face reality. His house, his rules. But I wasn't about to give up hope. Not yet. All I kept thinking was... All I kept thinking about was my dad, actually. That night, I had a dream Barry was on his deathbed. He looked really sad. Nobody was with him. <laughs> Nobody to nag. He had no fire left. When I woke up, I realized I'd been crying. Then the day came when I really fucked up. The old man made me promise not to go out at night, but all we did during the day was hunt. I wanted to look for a way home, you know? 
but I ended up leading those freaks right to our doorstep instead. And everything went straight to shit. You bring them here. You make them go away. I'm sorry, just help me out! I should make you go away. Come <laughs> on. 
think that's the last of them. Oh, you are excellent. We must wait and be sure. Uh. Oh, that's my special weapon. Use it. Uh.
Thank God. I think it's over. What are you thinking? You are destroying everything we work on. You will never go home. The old guy was pissed. Can't blame him, considering I almost cost us our hideout. He told me to face reality. To focus on surviving. And... I should have listened. So, I promised myself I would do better. Work harder. As long as the island was stronger than I was, there would never be any escape. 